Yo, brother, you're on location with a geek at J1Con 2022, and I am here with a good friend of mine. Would you introduce yourself, please? Hello, everyone. My name is Theola Lewis, a.k.a. Blur Girl Cosplay. <laughs> I am so glad that I finally get you on my camera, too. <laughs> you have been around with me since I started this, so I am very happy that I'm finally getting to interview you. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. It's a pleasure to be on your channel. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit about your cosplay. Yes, today I'm cosplaying Lady Loki, Sylvie from Loki series, Disney Plus. I <laughs> uh, was just really inspired by the look and wanted to do a little Blur Girl magic twist to it. Mm -hmm. and she absolutely <laughs> does her thing I love every bit of it so when you came up with the idea for this what was it that really sparked it for you I just love the idea of the multiverse and the variants and it just really inspired me to just try my own twist at it so um, I'm loving everything coming out of phase four and I'm looking forward to phase five of Marvel so this was just my little dipping my toe into what comes next for the new Loki series. Mm, always a good thing. As for me being a DC guy even I'm into what Marvel is doing so you know they're doing something right. <laughs> So when um, you recently started a YouTube channel, is that correct? That is correct. Yes, you can find me on Blur Girl Cosplay on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Mm -hmm. I mainly do reaction videos of content coming soon, as well as tours of things geeks to be proud of. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Oh, man. But one of the things that you had done up on there that wasn't a reaction, which I was very happy about, you uh, showed the, uh, the, the making of your sword for uh, She-Ra. Absolutely. I dipped my toes into cosplaying about almost 10 years ago. Started at cosplay out of my closet, and now I'm moving into sewing, building with EVA, and just trying to get a, a well-rounded perspective on the whole cosplay. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm now doing prop making and costume making. Mm -hmm. So when you make something like, uh, like the She-Ra sword, what kind of tools do you use? Well, it starts out with the basic EVA foam. You want to get like something uh, nice density. It comes in different thicknesses. Get a very sharp exacto knife, and then you can paint between acrylics to airbrushing and whatever your imagination holds. So you could do amazing things with that material. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you know now that you wish you had known when you first started cosplaying? Absolutely, practice and templates. Practice, 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 and don't worry about it's not coming out perfect the first time. I always think of them as an evolution. There's phase one, phase two, and you keep growing the more you do it. Mm, that's what I'm talking about. Whenever you get started with something, you're going to have your times where you're like, I don't know if I can keep going. I don't know if this is good enough. Don't stop. Keep going because you're going to get better. Anybody who has seen my videos will know what it looks like to get better over time. <laughs> But it is a pleasure. I am so glad I finally got you in here. I am looking forward to seeing what other uh, cosplays that you do. Please make sure to check out her, uh, her channel there. The link will be in the down low so that you guys can see some more of the, uh, the, the reactions there and you know see some of the, uh, the other things that uh, the owner is going to be doing. But until then, this is the little black dude. Put your fist up with me. Stay, Stay geek, geek and, and proud. proud.